Okay, this is in the proper form to use the formula. I'm going to identify the A, and I'm going to identify the B. Okay, if you're going to use the rational root theorem, which is probably what I would do, the rational root theorem, you'd write down the potential rational roots. And the problem with that is, you know, 152 has got a large number of factors. But I, I'm going to say, you know, like 1, 2, I think you get the idea. You keep going on and on and on. It's a super long list, by the way. And let's say they don't start out with small, and let's say they're bigger, like let's say they're you know, like, let's say it's uh, 76 or something, unlikely, but you got problems, all right? So the formula's not bad to know. So I plug these numbers in into the formula. And if you do all that arithmetic, you get minus 2. Then what? I'm going to use that root to figure out the other factors or other roots. So what do I know? I know x cubed plus 72x plus 152 is equal to x plus 2 times a quadratic, x squared. Why x squared? Because x times x squared is x cubed. I don't know the middle term, but the ending term is going to be what? Well, it's 76, right? I know there's an error in my key, by the way, but I'll take care of that later. What do I do now? Got to figure out the B. Let's see. What are you going to get here? Let's quit the linear coefficient, which is 72x would equal 2bx plus 1, uh, let's see, 152, right? I'm sorry. Did I make a mistake there? Um, 2bx... I made a mistake. I got to erase it. I'm a little tired. That's why. Good to make excuses, though, right? So 72x, and then on the other side, what do I get? 2bx. I see that. And the other one's 76x. Sorry about that. Let's see if we can solve that, which would mean 72 is equal to 2b plus 76. So b would have to be minus 2. Relatively simple. Let me write that down. x squared minus 2x plus 7, 6 equals 0. Let me show you where the error is, but you're not going to see that. The error is right here. I'll correct it. I don't know if the next thing's an error, but we'll check it. And what do you get there? x equals. Well, long fraction bar goes down. 2 here. 2 here. Plus or minus. The b squared, which is going to be um, 4, minus 4ac, which is minus 4 times 76. All right, i got to figure that out, don't I? So x is going to be equal to 2 plus or minus. There's a 2 here. Well, if I factor out a 4, it's going to be plus or minus 2. And then it's going to be 1 minus 76. That would be minus 75, right? And I still have to do some work on that. It's going to be x equals 2 plus or minus 2. That's going to be i, so 2i. There's a 25, which is 5. And that's going to be a root 3. So what do you get over here? x equals, I'm going to divide by 2 now, 1 plus or minus 5i root 3. So let's see if we got the roots. And these are uh, complex, and they occur in conjugate pair. I have both of those. And did I get the minus 2? Yep, right up there. All is good. i got to make one correction in notes, by the way. Let me point that out again. This needs to be corrected. All right, you're not going to see that in notes that you have, though. Thank you.